know, Nick, I keep looking at the cigar, and it's just, it's a short cigar, but the flavor it produces. We've just smoked over an inch and a half now. Yeah. Well, you've done more than me. I think you're a far smoker than I am. Perfect down. Yeah, you definitely are. It's it's a definitely a yummy cigar. Mm. Yeah, it's um, it's a great afternoon morning cigar. Yeah. The profile to this is superb. It's very for me. It's very balanced smoke. All the tobacco is it's blending perfectly. Yeah. And it's leaving this cream flavor in my mouth. Agreed. With um with notes of nuttiness. And every now and then you get that, that the hint of sweetness that comes into my mouth. Yeah. How does it find for you? Yeah, I agree. There's it's incredibly smooth and in terms of body and strength you'd say it was mild to medium, mm. but complex. And um, I was just thinking it's a perfect, as you say, it's a perfect afternoon. Tea cigar, isn't definitely, it? definitely. You know, you could uh, you could have this with a with a pot of tea and a cucumber sandwich in a and a scone and jam, and yeah, it, yeah, which will go perfectly. It's absolutely it, superb. It's classy, it's, um, isn't it? And for me, the cigar developed from the minute go. We didn't have to wait for the flavors to build up. Yeah. You know, where a lot of young, young, you know, new cigars, you've got to wait yeah. over halfway Great. for you to understand what the cigar's about. But the minute we lit the cigar, the flavour was just there. Yeah, that was the surprising yeah. thing. And it's just building up mm. more and more. Mm. And I just don't want to smoke the cigar too fast. Because I think that the, if we smoke it too fast, we'll want to light another one up. And there's no way I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> I thought you'd say. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the, the history of it, though, because it's incredibly popular pre-launch because of the original Florida Cano, isn't it? Well, the original Florida, Florida Cano and Short Churchills, yeah. which were made in the late, late 80s, early 90s, only a small quantity of boxes were made. Um, when they were first made, they didn't smoke that well. But with the age and people putting it away, and then all of a sudden, people, you know, the, the, the guys who had the boxes tasted them. The profile was so unique right. and amazing really? that lots of people who had the boxes started smoking them. Because the, at that time, the current production was discontinued quite quickly, wasn't Very it? Very quickly. So, so uh, there's only a few of those around. originals left. Correct. Have you smoked the original? I have. And? I have. Um, can you compare the two? Well, no. No, it's a, like, the profile is very similar. Yeah, so Obviously, you've got the age factor here as well. Sure. You know, you've got a cigar that's uh, 80, 1900 to nearly 30 plus years compared to the young cigar. So you can ask me the same question in 30 years' time. And then uh, if I have still got my box I have of the original Florida Cano, okay. um, we can do a side to side. But what makes this cigar more unique is the original boxes at the Christie's auction. The last one I can remember sold between for 5,000 to 6,000 pounds wow. for a cabinet of 25. Really? So there's a lot of there's a lot of history to this cigar. And good thing that hunters do. Hunters do bring no, back I mean, that, original that is, cigars, yeah, which is um, which has got history to it. Yeah, yeah. The I more mean, history to it has. All the, all the UK regional cigars that hunters have made have all got history to it. Yeah. Uh, and this again, hunters have done a fantastic job. Yeah. So um, kudos. Yeah. I mean, definitely. it's very similar yeah. to that, yeah. like, what you show me, but they're just flat. And what I hear as well is the actual bands are made especially for the cigar as well, I mean, compared to the Florida Cano machine made that they make now. So these these are new bands for Florida Cano now. And on the UK regional cigars, you know, I can never pronounce it, but it's Re, uh, Rino Undio, um, which is United Kingdom. But as of, as of next year, hunters are changing that to uh, Grand Britannia. So it's going to have exclusive for Grand Britannia. Yeah, right. That's what they're going to use okay. as of the next regional edition. Right. So this is going to be the last time that we will see uh, Reno Unido on this particular regional cigar. So that's a bit of more knowledge. Mm. Because it, it hints, hints of sweetness that does come through. You know, if you've got a palate to taste all that, it's, it's fantastic flavors that you can pick up. Yeah. Very impressive. 
you can see the tobacco. Now look how well it's it's compact. It's well held. Yeah. You know, you can see lots on yours. It's really held well. There's aren't any hardly any gaps in it at no. all. You can see the layers of packed tobacco. Kind of. Very packed on both the cigars. Very packed. And the cigar, normally when a, you know you light a cigar up, it goes soft. Spongy. Yeah, but this has stayed pretty firm. Yeah. Oh, mine is, mine is delicious. I just can't get over it how good it is. I don't think I'm going to sell it anymore. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put my four or five hundred boxes away and just wait for years to come. If you've got a bit for the night, I'll... Uh... <laughs> Well, the next, this cigar for me is fantastic. And guys, I'm not just saying this. This cigar has proved to be, it's lived up to its length of time that we've been waiting for. It is absolutely a phenomenal cigar. And as a, a, a new young cigar, it is smoking fantastic. Absolutely superb flavors. And all I can say that it's gonna age Phenomenally superb. The flavors are very intense now. Yeah. You know, really built up with strong, very balanced, very balanced smoke. You've smoked far more than I have, Nick. You like coughing your cigars, huh? It's too good to put down. <laughs> it is fabulous, and as you say, just developing now towards the end. Still not nothing harsh about it, but no. just a, perhaps a tiny bit extra in terms of strength, would you say? Definitely. But very smooth and, yeah, as you yeah. say, just a wonderful cigar. Mm. Yeah. Very consistent as well. Yeah. Mm. And it leaves a lovely flavour on your palate. It, it like, cleanses, cleanses your palate with, um, it's just cream in your mouth. It's like, it's like, um, taking a bar of milk chocolate, yeah. which is very creamy. Yeah. I wouldn't say dark chocolate, because it doesn't have that dark chocolate intense taste no, to it. There's no bitterness there. No, at all. It's, it's a little bit of, um, tiny bit of sweetness. It's a sort of caramel cream sweetness, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely that caramel taste. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, mm -hmm. appreciate well, the chance to uh, test it with you, my friend. It's great to, well, you've come on the right day. I don't know how you managed that. Perfect timing. Yeah, but you you absolutely queued the, queued the right day here. You know, I, and I thought I'll be the only one to, to sample these first. I have impeccable timing, Adrian. You have, definitely. Again, okay. great to share this with you, mm. Nick. And um, I'll let you know when we get the, the next regional in. Please do. Or, or you can plan it around that. <laughs> <coughs> Well, guys, thanks for thanks for watching, and um, everything we have said about this. The only way you can know is if you're lucky enough to get one of these boxes or a few, you know exactly what we've experienced. Um, these are going to just fly out. It's not a sales pitch here. These are phenomenal cigars. Yeah. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you again on my next vlog. Thank you very much. Wow, that was one amazing tasting for the Fleur de Cano Short Robustos for the UK market. I'd like to thank Nick Hammond for joining me on tasting the first Fleur de Cano for the UK market. Thank you, Nick, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching. Hasta luego.